Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about D5 Render. D5 Render, this is a render engine which is can help you create the stunning renderings without any specific knowledge like in other um, rendering software. Today we're gonna see the new updates which is 2.4, what they bring new and how it's uh, going developing of this program and we will see the uh, how we can use for example in our ever daily projects maybe you will find it's really useful so if you are ready for this small tutorial and let's say overview let's get start we will start from the my previous uh, work which is I have done also in D5 render but in previous version and what we can see right now here's the beginner guys the guide uh, it's nothing but uh, I can say thank you for developers because the guide is really simple and really useful without like uh, switching the other uh, for example the pop-up menu here no here just like a sketch and it's much than you need when you're just starting working for example in any program so really nice and thank you for that if you are watching of course and here is the my scene as you can see some of the objects already here some of the objects not working uh, of course because it was the um, I think it was uh, first uh, or uh, really really old version and as you can see the car is not updated so let's try to update here the car it was it's saying the successful but it's not and we will change this car uh, from the new asset so right click here replace from the asset and here is our assets as you can see uh, let's see the some car where is the car let me write oh here even the high speed train have let's try to write the car uh, these assets you're able to use if you are in pro account so if you unsubscribe on the pro version you will get all this for like uh, hundreds and thousands uh, the assets which is you can use and as you can see here the some cars like the oh this is my classical car actually classical car 02 let me I will use this one just double click on that uh, it's not working like that ah yes yes it's working as you can see it's exactly in the same position where it was the my previous one and i really like it this is uh, was the my building here is the the sense which is we have done the on the last time let's also the change the for example the material if you go you will go here you will see here the lighting here the scatter uh, path tool for example you can use the uh, create the road traffic the human traffic uh, whatever you want as you can see uh, which is uh, using the scatter for example if you want to create the a lot of the um, grass uh, also the or you can use the path for example to make the one line uh, placing the uh, trees whatever and uh, here you will find for example the materials and models which is we already use let's go to the materials let's use the concrete concrete is here and here is the online uh, library which is i can use for example i will change this as uh, layer this is type of the my concrete here it i will do like that i'm lazy to change something else also what i want to change i want to change this type of the uh, as you can see here i have not properly model but uh, we can use it actually here the is gravel we can use it we can use it so let's go to the stone maybe we will find here uh, something interesting uh, I don't need to use I want to use the just stone and uh, let's try to use something here oh it actually it's not uh, under the stone I think it's under the floor yeah it's here and let's uh, use the some small one uh, not so not so hard one uh, let me I will use this one it looks not bad as you can see if I don't have this mod uh, this material is downloading and after that I can use it uh, without any big problem on my uh, on my side actually this is uh, too big actually it looks like uh, it's not like a road one uh, but I wanna create like it's a uh, road path something like that let me I will try this one um, actually when I work uh, for this model uh, as I remember I created uh, with the gravel uh, it looks like it's gravel but uh, I don't don't think so uh, we'll see later on 
Okay, it's my the previous old model. We will load the new one. Uh, I just want to render, for example, this one first, and uh, later on we will load the my this model and we will export it again, and we will see how we can manipulate with uh, uh, with our data. Uh, now I also wanna uh, go to the um, to the wood because I wanna create this as uh, shelves uh, to the wood. Uh, let's use the gravel one, uh, gravel one, and maybe this one African red bean. Why not? Uh, as you can see, it's again the loading everything, and once it's done, it will be saved on your local machine. So no worries about that. It will be saved on your local machine. Think, yeah, everything alright is here done. As you can see, just few clicks and you can change easily the materials. And let's place here the some cats. Why not? I wanna I wanna see how working the um, cat models. I mean the um, animal models. Now let me try here the animal, uh, animal, animal pets, and uh, here mm -hmm. and here as you can see. Now, oh, we have the dogs even. Oh, oh my God, so cute. Uh, let's use. <laughs> Definitely, definitely I will use this one, so, and I will place it here, so, oh my god, it's really cute, it's really cute, and uh, it's not looks like weird, uh, like most of the uh, animal models, so we can place it, and maybe our um, our customer will be see on, will be look on the, on the dog. Okay, and we can rotate it a bit, and as you can see, it's fully uh, animated and really nice animated. So not like uh, in the Sims game, you know what I'm talking about, which is render when they using like Sims engine. And we can now try to do render. As you can see, by uh, under the environment, we have the two options like Geo and Sky and HDRI. Actually, uh, it's already depends uh, of your taste. I will use the previous one, uh, Geo and Sky. And uh, now I will go to here to the images uh, to create our render. Uh, let me I will change the format to the uh, 69 by 9. Uh, it's more cinematic. And and if you, you need to use the options uh, like the channels, for example, here there's some channels. Uh, if you want to like uh, post a uh, post correction or something like that, you can use the channels. But I don't need it, and I switch off it. And here you can use the formats which is you want. Here's actually a lot of the formats. Uh, I will use the standard one PNG. Also, if you want to change the camera settings, you will find all the settings here. Just go to the camera. Here, there's some samples of the view. Here, for example, the field, like for example, five and uh, five and two right now, and I can click here. Uh, and as you can see, it's five, exactly the five and zero, and you can use it manipulate. Uh, I mean, the manually. Uh, and uh, that's it, that's it, uh, you can rotate actually your camera, use the clipping, right, right, okay, how I'm using right now, as you can see, clipping, and also you can change the type of the lens, oh, for example, let me, I will do like that, 24. That's it. Uh, as you can see, it's not so much uh, settings, but it's not needed. This program not for that. This program for your uh, user friendly rendering. And let's try to render. Let's try to render. Let's I will render it and uh, I will save it here. And as you can see, it's done. Around one minute. Let me I will open the my uh, render images. And as you can see, it here. Uh, as you can see, I didn't use uh, some specific one things like lighting because actually the rendering it's uh, mostly about the light. Uh, just some assets and uh, the the my form from the um, from the Revit. That's it. So and here the nice uh, one question: How you can use it uh, by Revit and by D5 render? And this is much nicest thing. And uh, let's uh, let me I will show you. And I will open this model, uh, actually uh, this model it's already like I did a long time ago and as you can see it's different version. And here is my model as you can see, but we will, uh, we will uh, connect now our model with D5 render. 
But as always I am saying, before we will connect, let's go to the settings. Here you will find a few settings which is, uh, can be useful, like use survey point, use consistent colors and select categories be separate. So we can separate, for example, our model for by categories. Of course, if you are using the categories uh, as it is, but for example, if you are using the for, let's say, the some model in place and not separating properly by categories, uh, this way it's not yours so you just unselect it and group by materials so don't use consistent colors and use materials again if you are using the materials for example if you have uh, the same materials for the road and for the bench it will be same material for the d5 render be careful with that uh, for those you can use the consist consistent colors and maybe it will be better for you i will use the same materials mm, it's easy will be for us uh, grouping it and uh, let's save it and now we are ready to click on the start d5 render it's not will take long long time it's uh, starting already preparing our model we can go to the d5 render and wait here and here, as you can see, uh, it's already synced with the, our model. We can create a new sync model or we can collab with someone. L let me create a new one. Just click on that. And as you can see, here is our model. Uh, one by one, it's cr actually creating. So let's create the new sync. And as you can see, once I will creating the new sync, we have like separated model. It will be better for us because we can, uh, for example, uh, update only the one file, only the one model, and we will get the result. Mm, just give me a second once it will finish. So I think... I think it's almost done. Yeah, it's almost done as you can see. Here is our model uh, exactly from the Revit. If you will go to the Revit, we have the nice thing. We now can sync our model again. We can sync only the link. We can uh, view on. Uh, for example, if I will create on that, please switch to camera to retry. Okay, we can switch to the same camera. Let me I will go here and, uh, for example, view for the Instagram. Right click and actually I'm using now the Russian version, but doesn't matter. Here is the uh, camera, as you can see. Uh, let me I will go to the inside of the camera. Uh, here is the my camera. Where is the my camera actually? It's loading. So this is my camera, and let me go back to the uh, D5 render and uh, view sync. Okay, as you can see now it's working. Uh, let me go to the D5 render, and we get exactly the same uh, frame. So as you can see, uh, when you're working in Revit, it's really nice uh, to, for example, to use the D5 render. Uh, we can place, for example, I will place some here the component. Let's say here it will be table. As you can see, it's now a bit in, uh, a bit loading. I will go back here. As you can see here the our the table. Here is the nothing. As you can see, but once you will sync it again, let me I will go to the D5 render. Where is my D5 render? And sync the model. Uh, let me I will go back to the D5. So you uh, able. For example, not uh, have the sync uh, synchronizing model that um, in each time you working you can do it manually, and each this is actually much better way uh, when you are working, for example, with the team. And when I say the team, uh, this is really matter when you're using D5 render because if you will go now to the, for example, the file, and uh, you here, for example, will go to the preferences, you will find here the widgets. Widgets. So what does it mean? Uh, actually, this is some extension inside the extension. I mean, this is uh, some extension functions uh, for the D5 render. For example, here is some um, advanced uh, rendering camera you can find here. For example, advanced rendering video you, you will find uh, VR even. And you will find here the more, much interesting thing, merge project better. So this is teamwork, multi-project uh, merging. It's a really nice thing. Uh, however, I cannot use it because I don't have the uh, team uh, right now to the, uh, try it. But I believe 100% it will be worked, even, even in the beta. So if some developers will be really work uh, with the D5 render, they will get uh, a lot of the some different uh, preferences. Uh, I mean, uh, a lot of some different uh, widgets uh, and uh, it will a bit extend functionality, which is we have right now. 
so what I can say about the D5 render right now? Actually, D5 render it's the nice thing if you no need to spend the time. You don't want to spend the time, for example, uh, to create uh, something uh, standing. You you limited on your time, and you can you should create something really nice and useful. Uh, you can, for example, uh, don't forget you can create, for example, of the um, pathway for your uh, cars. Let's say here you no need to know, uh, you no need to have some special knowledge, and it's also the everything. This is things all the matter. And we can, for example, uh, I'm talking a lot of about the pathway. Let me will place here the uh, pathway. Uh, from this uh, point to this point and as you can see we get the pathway we can use for example uh, really hard things we can create the curve rotate uh, or something like that it's on already up to you let me I will place it uh, for example the car uh, till the end and I will create one more uh, just unclick it and I will create one more thing uh, from uh, from this from this part to this part this part this part and this and this so as you can see it's really hard way uh, after that you just click on for example on this dot create like the curve let me smooth like 500 and it, as you can see it's rotating so you can manipulate with all these dots up to you after that for example you can select on that you can add some more models you can create the single even single line you can forward line up to you a dual wave uh, like I mean the and back and forward uh, here a lot of different things as you can see oh my god even six cannot create Ooh. and can uh, for example change the speed all the things you already know because uh, you try it in uh, other uh, some programs but now we have it in d5 render Okay, guys, uh, if you are interested about the D5 render, I can go more deeply, and as you can see, even flying the car. car. Oh, my God, oh, Elon Musk, uh, take care about that. Uh, your car is already flying. Uh, if you want to know more about the D5 render, you want to, uh, for example, I see how to use it from the one building to from the for example the scratch to the uh, render final render let's uh, i will create it just let me know and i will try to create it for now it's finished i think thank you guys for watching and see you next time